Today we're going to go over how to operate a Genie GS 3268RT Rough Train Scissor Lift. Before operating these machines, always make sure that you've got your AEM manual, your ANSI's Responsibilities manual, and your Operator's manual. Those are always going to be located in this weatherproof compartment on the platform here. Now let's go ahead and start on the left hand side of this machine and see what's under the hood. Now by grabbing this latch and lifting up, you're going to expose what's under the hood here. And on this side, we're going to have your hydraulic manifold, your battery, hydraulic tank, and your ground controls. Those are always located on the left hand side of this machine. Now let's go ahead and go to the other side. Now that we're at the right hand side of this machine, again by grabbing a hold of this latch and lifting it up. On this side we're going to have your fuel tank, your engine, and your propane tank. Those are always going to be located on the right hand side of this GNE 3268. Now let's go ahead and go to the ground controls. Now that we're back over here on the left hand side of this machine at the ground controls, we're going to go over how these function. With this e-stop out, you also need to have your platform control e-stop out also to have power down below this key switch here all the way to the right is going to power up the lower controls all the way to the left is going to power up the platform controls now at the lower controls here you're going to have your engine idle speed start switch choke propane switch it's also your function enable for lift and lower and you also have your emergency down on this side. By pressing in this lightning bolt here, that's going to bring it down without the motor running. Now let's go ahead and go to the platform controls. Now that we're up here on the platform, always be sure before coming up though, you have your e-stop at the ground controls pulled out and that key switch turned all the way to the left. That's going to allow you to have power up top. Now that we're at the upper box, e-stop out. That's going to power you up. You're going to have your low speed switch, also your climb switch, you're getting on a trailer or any kind of uneven ground. Your horn button, your choke, and start. I'm going to go ahead and fire this up by hitting choke, start switch. That's going to fire it up for you. Now for the purpose of this video, I am going to keep it off so you can hear me a little bit more clear. This rabbit here is going to be your engine RPM switch, your propane switch, and your generator. Now to drive this machine... All your drive functions are going to be off this joystick here with this dead man switch held in. You're going to have your forward and reverse. You're also going to steer off this top rocker, so right and left, all off this joystick there. Now to lift from up top, this switch right here is going to be your lift enable. You're going to hit and hold that in, and you're going to lift and lower off the top rocker. Now, some of these model 3268s came with outriggers. Whenever they're equipped with that, that's what these <clears throat> outrigger switches are going to be used for. You can either auto level by hit and hold your outriggers with the lift button. That's going to allow them all to drop at the same time and auto level you. Or you can individually push each, push each outrigger down. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this extension deck. All right, if you're needing any more room on your platform, like I said, this does have an extension deck. By pulling this handle out, pushing forward, always be sure that you lock your arm back into place just so it doesn't move on you while you're traveling. And then to retract it back in, again, by unlocking it, pull your handle up, bring it back towards you, and then go ahead and lock that back into place. Today we went over how to operate a Genie 3268RT Rough Terrain Scissor Lift. Now if you have any questions, always remember you can refer to Operator's Manual in the weatherproof compartment on the platform there. And you can also go ahead and leave any questions or comments down below. Thank you.